Hi guys, today I'm going to read a social story to you guys about um, fire safety in our house. This is from the paautism.org website. So I'll read it to you and then I'll show you on my iPad. This is again about fire safety, how to stay safe social story. If there's a fire in my house, the smoke alarm may start to make a loud beeping noise. When the smoke alarm sounds, it may be loud and hurt my ears. That's true. If I hear the smoke alarm, I need to go outside and wait for my parents. If I am in a room, I should touch my door with the back of my hand to make sure it is cool before I open it. I should leave my things in my room. Always. I should stay low under the smoke. This means I might need to crawl on the floor. I should go outside quickly and try to stay calm. My family might have a fire safety plan. I should follow the instructions of the fire safety plan. I should wait for my family outside and stay in one place. I should always meet my family in the same place. A fire truck will come and the siren will be loud. I can cover my ears. I should not go back inside my house until the firefighters tell me it is safe. Never go back in. The firefighters will use their tools and water to put out the fire. I must listen to what the firefighter tells me. The firefighters want to keep me safe. That's very true. The firefighters will be wearing bulky clothing, thick gloves, and a helmet. They will also wear a face mask. They will sound like Darth Vader if they are wearing their face mask. I must listen closely to what the firefighters say. And always make sure you don't go back in until the firefighters say it's safe. Bye, guys.